you know, running, fighting battles, and generally breaking a sweat is such dirty business. Why even bother go through the whole effort to be a fancy warrior, get dressed up, carry a weapon, gosh, and then go and have to attack some magical beast? I mean, what an effort, but don't worry, there's a game that will solve your predicament and let you do all of those things in the palm of your hand. Minimal effort required, but immense satisfaction guaranteed. It's with Raid Shadow Legends that you could team up with other players in PvE boss battles or fighting global PvP matches and claim all the glory for yourself. No sweat required. With over 600 champions, you could build your team and take your chances in dungeon runs or boss fights. Use this this QR code to download Raid quickly on your mobile phone or PC to see what I'm talking about. You know it's Raid's three year anniversary and in that short period of time it's become loved globally by so many and here's three reasons why it's ranked so highly and beats all other mobile games. Number one, outstanding graphics whether you're battling out against bosses or just scrolling through the home page, the immersive high quality eye candy is always top tier. Number two, constant raid updates means a continuous evolving game along with an active community constantly keeping the game feeling fresh every time you log in. Number three, raid gives you the goods unlike any other mobile game whose names I won't mention, whose games you want to make you throw your phone out the window, raid gives you the enjoyment of building your champions and gives you the feeling of superiority every time you win your battles. And right now raids run in an amazing trick or treat promotion Halloween where new players can win a bunch of real life and and in-game prizes including $1,000 Amazon gift cards and some of the best epic and legendary Halloween champions in Raid and it's all for free and it's super easy. All you need is your Raid player ID, just download Raid with my link in the description and then head to trickortree.polarium.com, enter your details and then spin the wheel and get your prize. This special event runs October 15th to November the 5th and once it's over it's over, so be fast. So all new players, use my link or scan the QR code right here and get a free start pack worth almost $30, a free champion, Aeana, and this cool in-game loot. You'll find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. See, I told you it was easier. Enjoy. Clear. 
I have been following the emperor and his guards for processes like this and he has been invited on his death star for you to have this mon monumentous occasion certified try not to look so nervous okay so it appears that we are coming up to your slot here and we have many impures to go through today so i will talk you through the process first thing i must do a little check on you making sure your uniform is perfect like come on there put your collar around a little bit there smarten yourself up just a little bit you must check these things okay tunic fine boots they could have been a little bit high couldn't they though it will suffice but everything else looks immaculate well done this is the very first and most utmost important thing we imperials like to do is make sure we are the sharpest best looking imperials and a grand moth well there is no exception so your promotion tell me why you were promoted because of your special maneuvers that is rather vague isn't it and the emperor has sorted you out has he for that do you think you are worthy to hold the title of Grand Moth? Do you know of the job that entails? There's a lot of responsibility that's about to fall on your head. Are you up to the task and challenge? Well, you know what failure brings? Disappointment. I know what disappointment brings. Darth Vader. And you know what Darth Vader brings? The Emperor. So try not to mess anything up. There is no room for any sort of mistake. Your promotion here is certainly notified and of course celebrated amongst Imperials, but fail to live up to your expectations will of course lead in, well, need I say any more? Okay, well it seems like your time is about to come up. So the Emperor, when you walk in, do you know the protocol? Have you been briefed already? How have you not been briefed? You are about to meet our Emperor of our galaxy and you have not been briefed for this moment. This is abysmal. Well, try not to be too nervous. We wouldn't wish you to make a mistake and you making a mistake is a bad reflection on the empire and equally a bad reflection on me so i'll tell you exactly what you need to do are you listening stop relaxing and adhere to my words you walk in when i give you the word the blast doors will open these blast doors will lead you down a corridor it will get darker and darker and darker you will pass two of the emperor's guards the elevator will take you up towards the emperor's throne room when the blast doors open you will proceed to walk forth say nothing look neither left look neither right look straight ahead directly at the emperor when you walk up make sure you do not give him eye contact at all just look down bow your head look up and then the emperor will perform a slight ritual on you. This won't take long, depending on if the emperor has a liking to you or not, and he knows all. So I will also remind you, if you have anything to hide, the emperor foresees everything. So I'd be wary if you don't think you're suitable for this moth status. Okay, once the Emperor is finished with you, say nothing. The Emperor will not speak a word to you. You are not worthy of the words from the Emperor. Just make sure you follow the protocol. Stand back up. Bow your head. About to turn. Walk back to the elevator. Say nothing. Look neither left, look neither right. 
get into the elevator and then come back down. You will see Imperial Guards will escort you back to the corridor down here and then the blast doors will open and then I will be waiting here for you. Okay, does that make perfect sense? Good, well your time is moments away, so remember follow Imperial Protocol at all times. We cannot have any room for any sort of mistakes in an important event like this. Oh, and congratulations on your promotion. I'm sure you do excellent work. I did hear of your work actually on that maneuver you made near the outer rim. Yes, and those bounty hunters stealing from the Emperor. Well, you certainly showed them a thing or two, didn't you? Well, remember the protocol, remember the procedure. I will not say it again. It is time for you to see the Emperor. Remember, through the brass doors, look straight ahead, walk down, chin up, be proud. You represent our Emperor. Enjoy your promotion. Welcome. Come forth. Grand Moth. How did it all go? As expected? Good. And the Emperor was pleased with you? Just what we like to hear. It is most important that all protocol and imperial procedures are without, without any form of mistake and without question that they run perfectly. And this makes sure that you represent all of us Imperials in the best way possible. I'm sure you have great work to do. May I remind you that you have now formally met the Emperor. You know the grand leader in which you serve. You shall do your empire well. Now go forth back to your Star Destroyer and congratulations on your promotion. Next. Ah, your reputation precedes you. I've been waiting a long time to meet you. Well, your actions were famous. Well, we all know what you did to that planet and its people. You brought order and justice to all of it, and you are highly recommended and commended by the Emperor. Maneuvers like that don't go unnoticed, and it's those sorts of actions which makes you highly recognized by all throughout the Emperor. A true leader of great skill, something that any Imperial aspires to be. 
I congratulate your promotion here today. You certainly de deserve it. Have you been have you been briefed with everything you need to know for seeing the Emperor? And uh, may I just say to you one more time, when you go through the blast doors, yes, correct, correct. You know your Imperial protocol. That is correct. When you see the Emperor, you correct, you know it. Congratulations. Of course, someone like you knows it. You're well versed in all things Imperial. Most impressive. Very impressive. That is why you are being promoted. I do hope we get to work together sometime in the future. Most definitely out when the Emperor is needed in certain areas. When things get a little bit complicated, it is certainly a treat when all Imperials know that you are about to turn up. The tide always turns in your favour. Your calculations are always correct. That is why you have been made Grand Moff. Your moment is soon upon us. May I just say that you are being given a great honour today, and of course it is most worthy. The Emperor knows all, sees all, and when you see the Emperor, be sure not to look him directly in the eyes, unless he says the Emperor most likely will not say too much, if anything at all. But to go through this procedure, the Emperor will go and perform just a little ritual on you. You know, the Emperor and the powers he holds, this is Imperial protocol, shall we say, something for anyone in such a high status as Grand Moth, who works throughout the galaxy, or need. It's a Imperial checkup, shall we say, of some sorts. Okay, so you may hear some things, you may feel some things, but do not be weary at all. And I'm sure the Emperor knows of your great success, so you will be most favorable to him. Your time has come. Your Imperial status precedes you, and you will be escorted a single honor by our Imperial guards. They will walk down from this corridor with these blast doors open. They will escort you down to the elevator. Well, good luck, and I will see you shortly, officer. Welcome. Step forward. Congratulations, Grand Moff, and what a Grand Moff you will become. How was everything for you there? Good. Did the Emperor express any words with you? He normally doesn't. He is only reserved for those who is high up in his council, shall we say. So do not worry about that. Though the Emperor performed the appropriate tests on you, good. And it wasn't uncomfortable for you. Yeah, that is good to hear as well. So you've been assigned to... Where is that? On the third moon near Camino. A special honor. I 
wonder what's going on down there. So you'll be given your Star Destroyers. A shuttle is waiting for you in Hangar Bay 17. Okay, and you'll be escorted by my personal troops when you leave here very shortly. Well, you are Grand Moff now, and Grand Moff means you have high status and all the extra care and attention we'd like to give to important persons such as yourself. Well, congratulations on your promotion. A true honor you must be feeling right now. And that is it. Congratulations, it was a great honor to meet you and good luck in your servitude with the Emperor as Grand Moth. And what sort of time do you call this? You do know you've been promoted to Grand Moth. Absolute disgrace. We've got only moments before you need to be brought before the Emperor. What on earth had held you up? Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Shuttle damage. Yes, of course. Attacked. Yes. Oh, Rebels, was it? I'm sure it was. Oh, do you know the protocol in which you will be taking part in today for your promotion? How you'll be promoted? I do not know. Or at least you know something. But I shall remind you for your simple-minded actions. You might make a mistake, and a mistake is a bad reflection on me. When the blast doors open, you will walk down a dark corridor. When you get to the dark corridor, you see two Imperial Guards and an elevator. When the blast doors open, step into the elevator. The elevator will open up at the opposite side, so make sure you're facing the right way. When the blast doors open, it will take you up to the throne room. When you walk up to the throne room, walk straight ahead up the stairs. Look neither left, look neither right. When you get up, you will see the Emperor. Do not tremble, do not look like you are scared, do not look confident as well, and make sure you bow your head. Don't look at the Emperor directly in the eyes, unless stated otherwise. You'll bow your head. The Emperor will perform his very quick ritual on you. He will be able to see or tell all that's going on in your head and know if you are worthy for this final great honor which will be bestowed upon you. Okay, do I make myself clear? Okay, I don't care about your rank here and bad. Late Imperial is a bad reflection on the Empire. At least you look immaculately clean, oh, that is at least something. Okay, when the Emperor has performed what he needs to do, you will about turn, bow your head to the Emperor, and then you will walk directly at the elevator. You will look neither left, you will look neither right, step into the elevator. The Imperial Guards will then escort you from the elevator down to the corridor to the blast doors where I'll be waiting for you. Perfect, make yourself clear. Good, you understand this. Okay. I don't know what it is about you, but your reputation, there seems to be a lot of errors and mistakes along the way. Somehow you've been promoted for this great honor. I don't know if the Emperor was indeed informed of all of your mistakes that you've made recently, but he does not like failure at all. Bear that in mind and consideration. Well, the loss of three Imperial Star Destroyers I wouldn't call a great success, no matter how the battle turned out in the end in favour for the Empire. Your time is up. Good luck. Welcome. Step forward. That's far enough.
sense you wish to receive your gift, Grand Wolf. successes and what's this I've been told no longer in command of star destroyers but an executor class destroyer hmm. that of course is more suitable for someone of you and your skill the Emperor must be most agreeable with your decisions that you made back on the battlefield back then well, both of us took different courses, did we not? You decided to keep the way of battle and expanding our great empire. And you were promoted with all of the ships that you said that you wanted. I can't help that I chose the way to be closer to our emperor. Hmm. Well, it just means that both of our status will finally align. I made that quick maneuver back then. I've worked my way up the ranks, and justly so as well. You have done it through actions, and that is most admirable and to be commended. Well, I'm sure you know all the protocol to meet the Emperor. Good. How are you feeling? You're not nervous, are you? No need to be, my dear friend. Not at all. Someone like you. You do not need to worry about anything. In fact, I'm pretty sure the Emperor will be most favorable to you. You are the most qualified out of all the moths that have been promoted today. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if the Emperor takes special interest with you today. A testament to all of your skill. Mm. Good. Well, I'm afraid as much as I'd love to catch up, and I'll just check you over, and you look superbly clean and great, of course. Might I recommend something, though? When you become Grand Moth, some moths, they look smart. Some moths deserve something a little bit extra. And where will you be based after this promotion? For immediate, yeah. Okay, yeah, in that part of the system. Uh, you might find a little gift sent over by my shuttle. Okay, there'd be a little something specially made there for you. Well, every moth of stages like yours and our reputation needs a cape, and it is the very least I can do. We were, of course, great allies back then, and you will need to make sure you look the part all the time. Good. Well, you know the protocol. Indeed you do. You're well versed in all these things and exceptionally well read. It's just the first time meeting the Emperor. You've had an audience or been in his presence. 
Venus presence. Well, this time it's an audience. So may I wish you the best of luck and I'm sure you do superbly well. The Emperor is waiting for you. Good luck. Welcome. Come forth, my friend. Skills are most impressive. <laughs> well, well, well. Grand Moffet, who would have thought it? <laughs> well, I couldn't think of a greater Imperial who is more deserved of such a high rank. Well, you must be exceptionally proud to be given this greatest of honors. Well, might I just give you some direction on your next movements? Okay, when you're escorted off the Death Star, I've made sure my personal guards will escort you back to Hangar Bay 21. Okay, 21 is one of our best ones here. There will be of course, a small parade on there for you. I know you don't like surprises. Good, and this is in celebration of your high honor. Okay, when you're taken back aboard your Star Destroyer, new orders will be given to you there. And no doubt you will be stationed there just for a little while until your needs proceed, but I do hope that we will encounter each other once again. That is and will be a great wish of mine. And who knows, we might see each other out on the field. We can only hope. We are, of course, an unstoppable team, you and I. And make sure that people don't forget that. Well, when we are stationed together, we really do let people know who they're up against. Well, congratulations on your promotion. You have actually been singled out as well. You'll be going back to Coruscant in not so short of time to tell your stories and tales and be in an audience with the Emperor again. You have been favored highly amongst all other Imperials. A single honor for such a great Imperial such as yourself. You will do great work. That will be on Coruscant in not too far. But your work here and promotion, congratulations, is finished. Is there anything else I can do for you? Good. Grand Moff. Well, you'll be escorted out by my troopers, your ship waiting for you, anything you need. I'll get it sent to you immediately. Congratulations on your promotion. Take care of yourself, Julia.